dun dun dun. Never recording. Never look so good. So, so good. good. So good. Uh, Finch's Beer Company. Fascist pig. Fascist pig. Fascist pig. Fascist pig. Double D and I have talked about this before about about the marketing, about advertising, about the names. Fascist pig. When I was going through and I'm like beer, beer, blah blah blah. Bam, fascist pig. Really, I'm getting it. It doesn't. It doesn't matter whether I thought like, oh, this is a great beer or on rate beer. Oh, this is awesome. Now the the label's fantastic. Oh, the label's spot on. It's, this is a cool thing. It's it's on both sides. Yeah. You you rarely see that. Like the label wraps you, you around got both the sides. Pig with the Hawaiian shirt and yeah. that like third world dictator like military cap and the big aviator sunglasses. It's just it's great. Must be done. And Absolutely. and that's literally in my head. Must be done. Have to buy this beer. Of course. The, uh, Marketing people are worth the money. Am I worth money or encouragement? Yes. Other marketing people are worth more. Um, very, kind of an amber color. Yep. Very much of a like a like a red sort of. It's a it's amber. A reddish ale, ale, but not as red as something that you might get in like a, a Killian's or something like that. But it def definitely has a reddish hue to it. So this one says it's a deep red malt forward ale. Brewed with orange. plenty of caramel malts. If I didn't know better, a I'd touch say of that rye. Too. It has the appearance of a pumpkin beer. Now here's the thing. It says it's dry hopped with Palisade uh, and Zythos hops. It smells really... Im it smells inviting. It smells very good, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, caramelly. Not very hoppy. No, you can. It, it, a little bit of malt, a little bit of hop. Definitely, uh, definitely some kind of sweetness in there. Yeah, um, definitely. I, I don't really know how to place my finger on it. Just good. It smells good. It smells nice. How's it taste, motherfucker? Oh! Ooh, that's really good. That's really good. That's really, really good. Um, it's like a caramel malt. Yeah. Not not any hops to speak of. I mean, it is a 70, 78 IBUs or something like that. Yeah, it's it's eight percent by volume. Like that's that's a good that's a good for an ale. That's, that's right. really good for an ale. Yeah, it's really good for an ale. But I mean, as far as the bitterness, I don't really taste bitter hops. They're definitely there. They're definitely yeah. They're not overpowering in the least, and that's kind of nice because. Um, too many people, I mean, the, the whole concept of an IPA is supposed to be a hopped up beer. But so many other beer styles, they're yeah. hopping the crap out of them because IPAs are so popular. It's nice to see someone who's added quite a bit of hop flavor without being bitter, without having that over overuse of it. Um, it's got a nice, malty, sweet kind of backbone to it. Um, a little bit of, of a hop flavor without being a bite. It's just a, it's a nice, uh, it, it tastes kind of sessionable. It's really good. Like, I, it, I like if you, this. if you see this, it's, it's tough to classify because you're like, it's an ale. So you're like, oh, okay, what's an ale? That's such uh, a wide range it's, thing. It's really, it's really, really good. I, I would, I would definitely recommend this to anybody. Absolutely. Um, find this beer, get this beer. This I think would be a good one too if you're new to craft beer. Right. Um, it's not overpowering. It's not too in your definitely. face. Definitely. It's got a nice malty flavor to it. It's like, this would be a great gateway drug beer. So, uh... Sweet. I'm going to have to definitely check out some other uh, selections from Finch's. I, I, you've had it. I personally haven't. You've had the blonde. Have I had the blonde? Yeah. I, it, well, but he was deep into cups. So it's it's not his fault. So he I didn't have remember. the blonde. But... I didn't have the blonde. Some other guy did. <laughs> Double D had the Double blonde. Double D had the blonde. Dave had Dave the, hadn't had the blonde. So, right. um, I'm definitely going to have to check these guys out because I think this is a nice, well-balanced beer. I think it's very tasty. So, yeah. And, and if good. it's in your market, um, Georgia, I mean, we're here in Georgia, you can get their pale ale, their blonde, uh, their brown ale, and I think something else as well. They're in... They're in, uh, in cans. Now, this one's in a bottle, but typically they're in cans, like a tall boy can. 
Um, it's good stuff. It's usually a four pack, so uh, okay. be on the lookout for it. it. This is really tasty. And the label's great. <laughs> the label's great. Fascist pig. When the label's how, great and the How do you not good? get a beer called Fascist Pig? Yeah. Awesome. Um, we, we actually have a peanut gallery. Normally Just we don't. Up. Normally we don't. But if you were to think Fascist Pig, what do you think of the name Fascist Pig? It's excellent. It's great. You gotta buy it. All right. Cheers. Cheers.